Hey YouTube, it's me Proto Genius back with another fun paper plane tutorial. Today we're making an F-16 Fighting Falcon and this is actually a really good airplane. It flies really well. Uh, it's a bit complicated though so if this one's a little hard for you feel free to check out my other one. It's a little more simplified than this uh, but it's it should be a good one still. Anyway, so first off <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take our regular sheet of copy paper like this. We're going to take them, we're going to fold this in half. Long ways. And yes, this is American style copy paper for anyone that's asking. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on figuring out what kind it is. They don't even really label it. So, um, anyway. So we're going to fold it in half the long way and then we're going to open that up we're going to take that and we're going to fold the corner down and across from this point here and just make sure that this is parallel so just like that right there so I kind of crunched it a little bit there for a second. All right. So there's our first fold um, towards the house fold that I always do. Then I'm going to open that up and fold it the other direction. The better you can get it into the point uh, up here in this area, the better the airplane will turn out. Things will just, the lines will go together a lot easier and you won't have wings that are off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And you can see our X shape right here. We're going to push our sides in right here. Increase it down to the point right there. Right there. All right, just make sure this fold and this fold right there are, uh, are lined up with each other. It's kind of hard to see that with the lighting here. But. All right. So now we have our house shape. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to take and we're going to um, kind of open, open this up from the side here. Now the top of the plane is going to be backwards from the way I do a lot of my airplanes. This is actually going to be the the top up here, and this will be the bottom of the airplane. So I'm going to take and put that down on the table here, and we're going to fold from this point. And we're just going to take this and kind of fold back so that we can fold right along this line right here. Kind of fold things right back to that. Just like that. Very good. Okay, now what we're going to do is flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. You can see right from the point, fold it over. Right there. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up those two sides again that we just folded. And we're going to use this line right here as a reference. We're going to fold from this or fold this point right here down to where it meets up with this right angle right here at this point right here. So we're going to take that and we're going to just fold it straight down. Make that line match up right there. like that. Take, fold that flat, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Take, fold it down to that line meets up right there with that point right there. Very good. All right. Sorry, I'm kind of getting my hands in the way there. All right, so now we're to this point. What we're going to do is we're going to open that up again. And we're going to do a really interesting fold here. This is going to be one that some people might get lost at it. Just bear with me. If you can't get it, then um, check out the other F-16 tutorial. But, uh, yeah, just do the best you can on this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold back down that first fold that we did on both sides. And we're going to open it up from the top right here. 
Now we're going to come back from the tip about a uh, fourth of an inch and we're going to make a, a V-shaped fold from that point that we fold there up to the, this point here and this point here. And so I'm gonna, it's going to turn into a 3D fold, a really interesting one, so be, care, be, uh, be patient. So what we're going to do is just going to take and kind of open up the back right here of that. I'm going to zoom out just a little for you guys. Okay, we're going to that one quarter of an inch. Open this up back here. Push that right up into that point, if you can see what I'm doing right now. And then just kind of push this down along the sides here. Just like that. Okay, so it's going to look like this. It's going to get that fold all the way back to that point. And now this is going to be a little bit rough. Even I have a hard time getting this one sometimes. So just kind of very carefully crease it and try to make that, well, that fold come straight back to the back. I've actually had this design for a while, but I don't know how many of you guys are going to be able to, to get this particular part here. It's a really good fold, but it's a little bit difficult. And so... If you can see what's going on there. That's the main reason why I haven't done it. Is because it's kind of hard to see it with the camera. So, alright. Now, if you see this right here. So you come back a quarter of an inch to that point. Now let's fold it up. This is the tip of our airplane right here. Now what we're going to do. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. When people can start to get lost a little. So, you're going to take and you're going to open up that that front area that we've already folded. You can kind of see we have both folds right here. One right here and one right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of push those up right there. Get your kind of pinch the, the piece of paper right there and you can see our folds now right there. And what we're going to do is um, see the back of the airplane right here in this area. We're going to kind of take and flatten that out a bit right there. So just like that. So we're going to take and we're going to flatten that out. And this is another 3D fold we're going to do. So pinch it right up to where those folds are at from before, like that. And then just kind of flatten this piece out on top of it. And just make it come back together in the back. So we'll flatten that down. And then use that those same folds to fold down the other rest of it right there. And then take from this point, which we've now folded, and fold it back to here. That's so where it's kind of got a bit of a crease right there, if you can see that. All right, and you can see how it comes right to that point right there. And so we push that down now. We're going to crease that all the way back. And now this is where the cockpit starts to show, where we'll start to see the different shape of it. And so what we're going to do now is we've got this little fold right here from before. We're actually going to take and fold this back on the inside. Now it's going to be underneath this other piece just a little. But just fold it back along that line. It shouldn't be that incredibly difficult on there. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Gonna increase this in, fold it back along that, that line that we had already folded to begin with. You're going to start to see our cockpit shape right here. And so now what we're going to do, and this is going to be a little bit tricky for those of you that, that are still learning. Um, let me get focus here. What we're going to do is there's, um, if you fold that back a little, you can see where it comes to a point right here. And so what we're going to do is actually we're going to make a fold from there to the very tip of the wing right there. And what you can do is you can actually push that back a little bit and make a fold right there. Kind of push this back here, make a little bit of a crease, and then fold right along into that point. Just like that. 
now you're gonna see it, it actually pulls this other piece down with it when you start to fold that so as you crease it down just kind of flatten that other piece out with it and you get that right there very good all right now you're gonna start to see our cockpit shape you can see where the this is there yeah the cockpit and then this is the nose of the airplane and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side okay we've got our fold right here and just kind of follow this this piece right here back up into the inside of the airplane right there and kind of fold that back now you push this back here get your finger underneath that you get a little bit of a crease going right there and I'm just going to fold that all the way back down to the tip right here and I'm sorry if I make it look so easy guys I've made tons of these airplanes and so anyway just bear with me alright so now we flattened it all out if you could see that real well okay and now we've got our our front of our airplane, the cockpit part. Now we're going to do an interesting fold here. Um, you can see where we have our this line right here from this point all the way up into this point right here, all the way back. We're going to take that and we're going to fold that over this way. Just kind of grab that, push it back along that line, right up to the tip of the airplane, just like that. Or the tip of the cockpit area. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to push that back out again. Flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. Take and grab this and fold it backwards. Right along that line. Right up to the top of the cockpit. Fold that back just like that. All right. Now when we open that up, there should be, it's roughed up a little bit, but don't worry about that part because this isn't going to be seen. Now, the top of this, if you look at it from behind, 